time it is, chat. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. But we just have to get right into it. All right, so the least important thing is there's some, bro, every single year, whatever the glitches are, they're still in the game. There are glitches that were in here in 2K17. The Annie glitch been here. The Bass glitch was here. The, the, X, the XP glitch was here. All those were here. Like, it was like one of them was, one of them was uh, you go to Annie up, and then they had the load again Bass glitch. And then now they got the Cages bags, Bass glitch. The game is overrun with glitches. I don't understand why this is the case. I don't understand why these things happen in the first place but my biggest thing is if they happened last year why do they always inevitably happen the next year i can only guess that the game is built on the same framework but normally when you build something on the same framework you close the holes to any vulnerabilities that existed before so in the beginning i would say well maybe they weren't aware of these issues but they are aware of them because they patched them last year so you have to be aware of what's going on. They have to be. Like, it, it, it absolutely makes no sense. And the fact that everybody's looking for a badge list, they might, they might as well tell you that something is going on with the grind, that people just don't want to grind, they don't want to do this, and they don't want to do that. And every time you close one vulnerability, they go to the next vulnerability, which was in the last game. Why not just look at all the vulnerabilities in the last game and close them just like you did last year? Unless, some, like somebody said, maybe somebody's putting them in the game and they're holding them there, and 2K knows about these things, but they want you to use them. They just want you to use them how they want you to use them. I don't know, man. It's like That seems like a ridiculous statement to make in the beginning at face value, but then you realize, bro, maybe that is the truth. Maybe that person is crazy like a fox because there's no way that these things make it from game to game, and we just start fresh with the same base with the same vulnerabilities and they never get fixed until somebody puts a YouTube video out on it and then all of a sudden it gets fixed like overnight. So it tells me that they're applying the same fix but they just hope that the masses don't. Like it's, it's cool until somebody does like one video. That's probably cool. Two videos is cool but then when 19 videos and entire channels are built off of hey this is the glitch right here. It's just a variation. Just press A this time. Okay this time. Then the whole next day they put out a whole another video. Okay press square okay then they put out a whole other video okay do it like this but quit right here like bro i don't get it like entire channels are spawned off of these glitches and they are surviving i don't get it maybe they're aware of these all right so if if i'm aware of these channels and you're aware of these channels 2k is undoubtedly aware of these channels and these channels have not been shut down yet so that means that either they know about it or they're complicit it's one of the two like like what else can we say it's just like with the government and 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 dope in the 80s like somebody was complicit and we found out that yes they absolutely were but hey we're not gonna talk about that man this we ain't trying to get too political y'all know what i'm talking about like how is it getting in we ain't got no planes we ain't got no doggo none of that stuff who's bringing it in don't you but then we're gonna punish the people that are on the ground in the hood like we the people on the ground in the hood that oh we found something and then we're gonna use the glitch but then we get punished but then how is it getting in? We don't got no computers. We didn't we didn't design the game. We didn't do any of that stuff. Just like, 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 like we ain't got no planes, we ain't got no trucks, we ain't got none of that stuff. How is it getting here? But then we got us then, then you you pump it right at us, and then we're gonna punish the people that like bro, I I yeah, that's that's too big of a metaphor. That's going over a lot of people's head. But y'all understand what I'm saying. We didn't design the game, and there was a glitch there last year. Of course these people are gonna try the glitch that was there last year, and it works. The exact same way that it did last year until they closed the hole. But then when they close it, they close it instantly, like overnight, sometimes without even a patch. So that 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 tells a lot of people that, hey, maybe it is some validity to what they're saying. I know it's ridiculous to think about it because I've always said, nah, you know, man, you know, sometimes they just make it and they just don't. But like the more it happens, this is the fifth year in a row that these exact same glitches have been in the game. Well, let me 2K17, 18, 19, 20. The fourth year in a row. There might have been one in 16, but people weren't really doing it like that in there. But I know that I know of this is the fourth year in a row, 17, 18, 19, 20. Those same glitches have been done the same way. And they've been in the game and run rampant over the game. I don't uh, maybe not the cage glitch, but that was in here last year. The cages were new. And then boom, this year is here. It is what it is, man. All I'm saying is. 
if these bitches in the game, who who knows what other type of glitches are in the game? Who knows what other kid? Just like my boy, um, I forgot what his name, the dude in 18 that was that had found a way to get to 99 legitly, but he was calling it a glitch because he knew how to influence the uh, other, you know, influence my career the right way and all that stuff. I forgot what his name was, man, but he was hooping and he was ahead of everybody with a full-time job. And then he said, hey, I'm going to give y'all the game. And then he gave people the game and then people hit 99. Y'all know who I'm talking about, Chef, my boy Chef. That's who it was. I don't even know if, if Chef even got a uh, got a channel, but you know, it is anymore, but it is what it is. Look, if the glitches are in the game, like we said, they're either being left in there. At this point, we got it. We can only guess that they're being left in there on purpose, or or somebody's putting them in there because hey, maybe somebody at 2K tired of grinding. And then when y'all put the glitch out, they be like, damn, I'm I ain't wanna grind. I, now I gotta do the idiot. What it is, man? What do you guys think? Do you think that somebody at 2K is leaving them in there on purpose, or they can, or are they just completely unaware that they're still there? I mean, that that can't be the case though because they were in the game last year. The exact same ones that you do the exact same way. It's no difference in them. But you know, it is. Now look, we're not going to talk about that, man. We're just going to get on to the next subject. Look, the biggest thing in the game, the elephant in the room, shooting. Shooting is dead in this game, it seems like. Like, in the beginning of the game, it was a skill gap. If it wasn't green, it wasn't going in. But at least if you knew your jump shot, you could green consistently. Now I'm seeing people say things like, dang, did they? I was playing a game yesterday. Dude played against us green every shot. Boom, 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 boom. We played him again. The next, Of course, I'm playing with random, so, you know, we took the L twice. But I I played him again. The next game, he like, dang, did they pass my shot mid-game? I talked to my boy Fat. My boy Fat was like, yeah, we was killing everybody. And then we was, uh, we were, it was nothing, it was nothing that nobody could do to stop us. And then 2K decided that they didn't want me to hit a shot. And then I couldn't hit a shot no matter what I did that game. And so then I said, okay, maybe it's just, it's not just me. Because game one, I come out to the park, I'm greening. Game two, I'm greening, but I might miss a shot. Game three, I'm like, bro, why can't I hit anything at all? I'm using the exact same time and exact same cue. Game four, you might as well not even shoot the ball. Somebody else might, somebody else better shoot that ball because you damn near not going to hit anything. And then it'll kind of reset after you take an L and then you'll go back to there. But then at that point, you apprehensive. You don't even really want to shoot the ball. Or maybe you just got to be like Zuli and just shoot it anyway and just be like, hey, they're going to make me miss. I got the same timing. I got all of that. But 2K consistently says that they don't change anything. I'm in a non 2K, I mean, a non stream last night. Mike Wong is in there. They're talking. And Mike is like, nah, we don't change anything. No jump shots change. And Annoying is sitting here telling you, just like 2K Lab is telling you, something clearly changed. Because every time they see update required, 2K Lab goes in and they check everything to see what jump shot may have been affecting and what may not have been. And that's always different data. Men lie. Women lie. Numbers do not lie. There's no way that nothing changed at all. And then they go in and test the jump. Like, okay, we tested the jump shot yesterday. Trey Burke has the biggest green window. They got some good videos over there. Go check out 2K Lab. Trey Burke with Hot Zone Hunter and whatever. It's like a 67% green window. I'm just using that as, a, as, a, as an example. And then when they change something, they check it out again. And it's a 57% green window. Like, that makes no sense at all. That can't happen if nothing is changing. Something is clearly changing. Is Mike aware of what's changing? I can't say that for sure. Is 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 everybody aware of what's changing? I can't say that for sure. But we can say for sure that something is changing. And we know that some you know this baby, you know something is changing. And then it's like, nah, we just flat out denied. You can say I don't know how it's changing. You can say I don't know exactly what is changing. You can say that nothing should be changing, which is the verbiage that they normally use. But damn it, something is changing. Because 2K Lab has the data, the hard data. They released the, the dying on jump shot every single time. They already told us that even if you release it every single time, you can't green it every single time. So we already knew that two years ago with 2K Lab. And now they're saying that even if you release it the same way every single time, it's not going to green and the percentage is changing daily. And if you release it the same way, not only are the percentages changing, but the green windows are changing. These are things that if you were if you were sub to 2K Lab, you would know. So go ahead over there and get your subscription, shameless plug. I'm not sponsored by them or none of that stuff, but hey, this year you might have to do it. I'm gonna have to make my jump shots from those guys.
I'm, 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 that's what I'm, I'm gonna get a 2K Lab subscription. If you want me to get a 2K Lab subscription that can cock jump shots from stuff from the data that they provide, I'm not gonna give you the data 2K Lab, but you have to get that yourself. But I will concoct jump shots from the ones that have the best green windows because Lord knows we need it right now. I'm, I'm gonna have a jump shot for y'all. If y'all want a jump shot, they get this video to 200 likes. Anyway, like I said, something is clearly changing. And they can say that nothing is changing, but that's a, that's that's not being truthful. They can say that they're not aware of it, and that's probably truthful. Two things can be true: something, some, but something's definitely changing, and you cannot be aware of it. We don't know how it's changing, we don't know why it's changing, but it's definitely changing. Otherwise, anything is just cap. It's just cap, like right cap, exactly. Like I, I don't know. Like I said, now one upside is if you're an inside center like I've made, then. You get a lot of boards, and you're important, and you'll be important all year because there's gonna be enough rebounds and enough misses where you just can't say, "Well, we're just gonna outshoot people like we used to say." We'll outshoot them. They got an inside center. We'll outshoot them. That's what we're gonna have to do. It just is what it is. You're not going to be able to do that this year. But hey, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's the whole thing. They want to keep inside centers relevant because stretches can't hit enough shots in order to do that. And then they went straight after the stretches, and instead of just nerfing them to where they made them like, some people say they made them that you can't even really shoot with a stretch instead of making them where you just couldn't use certain dribble moves, certain dribble moves, and you couldn't use certain, uh, we don't care about it they use certain jump shots because Aldridge is a big, and if you turn off Aldridge for everybody, then Aldridge in his thing can't even use his own base because it seems like that's how the game is tied together. So what they should have done is just, you just you, you can only get quick draw on bronze or silver. Like, just limit it like that, like they limit certain badges. But, hey, it is what it is. Look, we got other videos coming up today. Y'all let me know. Do y'all think shooting is broken? It was good. To me, it was perfect on day one. And then after the first patch, it was still perfect. I was cool with it. And then now it's just like, unless you're shooting a 75% bounce back and you're a complete noob, you shooting that with a 70 overall rating and using flexible release, it seems like you can't be consistent. But that's just me, man. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, I mean, I'm busting greens, but it just feels so inconsistent. Just like one guy was in the noise chat was like, bro, I don't even want to be a shooter no more. I'm about to go make me something else because this is just ridiculous that I can't be consistent because the game won't allow me to be consistent. And just like you said, you can say that you're consistent all you want to, and yes, but 50% ain't as consistent as we want to be. Like, Harlem can shoot the cover off the ball, but then when you look at his shots at the end of the game, it's like 50%. So that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about seven for 10, nine for 10, eight for 10, five for eight, you know, stuff like that. Now I feel like that's more consistent. Now I'm shooting that in the wreck, but it's just like in every other game mode it is what it is. But anyway, I'm not gonna take up all you guys time. Look, check it out, man. Hey, for all of my gym stars, this is what we got for y'all today, my boy. My boy, Rudolph. Woo, look at him. Get that money, man. Get that money, man. Get that money, man. Get that money, man. Gotta get that money, man. I said, I ain't done. I'm gonna get one more. Ah, eek it out. Hey, check it out. That's our gym star of the day, man. My boy, my boy. That's my guy, man. Look, if you wanna send these in, y'all let me know. That's my boy Marcus Rudolph. If you want to have yourself up here and be the gym star of the day, be eligible to win one of the free t shirts, we're gonna have the free, the, the gym star. T-shirt design up. It's going to be on my site later today. And y'all can check that out. But anyway, I got to get up out of here. Let me know if you think it's capped. Maybe I'm capping. If I'm capping, let me know. But I think, I, like, they, they're either unaware of this stuff or they just don't know what's going on with the game. I don't want to think either one of them is the case. I think they know and they're just not able to tell us and they're trying to prolong the longevity of the game. We know it's going to even out. Because how many of us, I'm raising my hand, I couldn't, I couldn't shoot consistently last year until about a month and a half, two months into the game until they stop touching stuff. So if it's, if you think it's gonna be the same thing, let me know. But I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know, if, maybe no, let me know if I'm just trash at the game or let me know if you are a shooter. It's, it's not as, it, like it's consistent, but it's just not as consistent as we would like for it to be. That's all I'm saying. Um, Till next time, man. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello! 360 out this mug.